Ha, ah, hello, hi everybody. It's great to be back in the Bay Area. Uh, this is not part of my 10 minutes, but hi. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, yeah, the challenge is, uh, you know, when I present my comic, comics, I have, uh, as, you know, it states uh, in my bio, I am the most prolific artist, Chicano artist in the universe, because um, I wrote that bio. So, I'm, <laughs> who would know better than me? Uh, but uh, I like to do a lot of things. Uh, I write comedy. Uh, I like to spend too much time on Twitter. Uh, and uh, I also uh, and, and these, I do these other things to support my cartooning habit, which I'm going to show you a little bit right now. Let's see if I, this is uh, a Chicano remote control. <laughs> it's a mouse that I have hooked up to the, my thing. And it's, it's, we call it rasquache style. <laughs> so uh, here we go. Oh, see, it didn't work. Here we go. Last year, <laughs> was an election year. And normally, those are really great years for cartoonists, and I know the, all these guys are going to uh, uh, agree, but I mean, it was kind of an anomaly. It was a really weird, uh, strange year. This was my last cartoon I did. Uh, uh, I do editorial cartoons, and I do comic, uh, the comic strip. Uh, but uh, uh, that's, I think, how everybody pretty much felt at the end of the year. Um, and uh, this is barely a cartoon, but I did change the California flag. Uh, I thought you might enjoy that since we are in California. And uh, here we go. Uh, bad hombre, very good. Uh, wanted a bad hombre for attem attempted murder of democracy, unwanted lady groping, and tax evasion. AKA Don the Con, Tiny Hands Trump, and the Cheeto Bandito. <laughs> Uh, so uh, I did a thing for uh, the, actually the uh, Cal Alumni Magazine. They asked me to draw, uh, they finally discovered that I'm a cartoonist. I did go to architecture school there uh, uh, for graduate school. And uh, I did draw this uh, for the Alumni Magazine, How to Draw Trump. So bear with me. Uh, I'm going to do the uh, one minute version of this if it's at all possible. Hi, I'm Lalo Alcaraz. This year I've become a professional Donald Trump drawer. Here's how you can too. First, watch endless hours of cable news election coverage until you are sick of this guy. Then draw a circle. Just kidding, that's an orange. Actually draw an oval, then an oddly shaped thing covering a bald spot, marked blank. Sketch in the squinty puffy eyes, the nose and pouty mouth, and fill out that fat face. You can also make that hair do uh, wondrous things, like this historic salute from the World War II era. <laughs> nice, finish up by adding angry eyebrows, beady eyes, and a scowling expression. Color him up like a vulgar talking yam. Don't forget the whites around his eyes. <laughs> Hand size is very important. Congratulations, you now know how to draw Donald Trump. Remember, if you don't express yourself when things are going wrong all around you, you might end up like me. Remember to vote, President Trump's super classy Mexican cartoonist re-education camp. <laughs> so now here's another thousand Trump drawings. <laughs> all right. That is from the um, Loteria card game, if you notice. Uh, and uh, if you guys know what the Loteria uh, card game is, it's like bingo, gringo. Uh, the, the Devil Wears Biker Shorts, uh, which is uh, going to be the title of my autobiography. But in, uh, in, on the Mexican Loteria card, uh, the devil does wear biker shorts because they're very modest people. Uh, uh, Donald Trump is a projector. Uh, he, when he is accusing you of doing something, it's because he's doing it that minute, or he did it, or he's thinking about doing it. Uh, very simple guy. Uh, here he is calling Hillary a sexist pig. You, if you remember, he called her a woman abuser, and I'm sure he accused her of grabbing genitalia. Uh, what KKK? Uh, Trump piñata. You know that the best-selling piñata on the planet is the Trump piñata. Uh, the GOP logo, uh, Miss Congeniality, uh, Trump a Cabra. <laughs> uh, the, the two popular costumes of 2016, the most popular, were Donald Trump and El Chapo Guzman. Uh, and so here they are playing together. 
Uh, here's Donald, uh, I'm sorry, Chapo Guzman's original escape plan. <laughs> right there. Uh, Donald Trump's hairdresser is really underrated. Um, I, I stick this in because I, I like to talk about how, uh, well, I was pretty much a car comic snob, a cartoonist snob, but then I realized that memes allow everybody to be a cartoonist, you know, and I'm not trying to cheapen the profession, but you know what? You guys need uh, to express yourselves as well, and if you can't draw a damn thing, you can grab a, a picture, add a funny caption, put two pictures together, change the context, and you kind of got a cartoon, nominally speaking. But if it makes you laugh, that's good, because God knows we need to laugh. Also, Mexicans know how to laugh because they started calling Trump elote hair, which is corn hair, <laughs> right? Like corn fibers, right? So I think that's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, I, I'm inspired by Trump's uh, Twitter account. Here's the infamous Taco Bowl account uh, tweet that he did. I did this cartoon <laughs> based on that. GOP, uh, SNL, uh, still no Latinos. That's why you felt safe hosting. Uh, what's your position, Donald Trump? Hmm. Uh, basket of deplorable cabinet members. Uh, brands ruined by Trump. Skittles, Cheetos, the GOP, and Trump. Uh, late edition, Tic Tacs <laughs> is the sexual assault mint if you remember from last year. Uh, oh, here's one of my favorite. I, in my comic strip, uh, La Cucaracha, I do a parody of the Boondocks comic strip uh, and called The Bean Docks. So this is one of my favorites. And, and, and uh, the character texts with Donald Trump all the time. Says, so Donald Trump, you're going to be the president? Uh, that's right. I want everyone to support me. Not like that one guy who went after Obama's citizenship. And uh, Cuco says, that was literally you. And Donald Trump says, that was not me. Show me some sort of certificate proving your claim. <laughs> uh, here's when Trump met with Enrique Peña Nieto, the president of Mexico, uh, who is about four and a half feet tall or so, not counting the hair. And he cheesed on talking about the wall. This is what Mexico said, no mames. Uh, ask your Mexican friend what that means. <laughs> uh, Mexico built the Trump wall for free. <laughs> Welcome to Mexico. Uh, here's my Mother's Day cartoon for uh, uh, my comic strip. It is not a yuck yuck cartoon, definitely. It's very sad, but yeah. Although I was like, is she on a ladder or what's the deal going on there? I'm not sure. Uh, here's some more editorial cartoons, Obama, uh, Obama wiretap, Trump Tower, evidence. Uh, 2016, make America great again, 2017. We have discovered the origin of the 5 million illegal voters. <laughs> Trump decries anti-Semitism. <laughs> see his mustache says stop. Come on, Bay Area people, you know what this is. Uh, the buck stops here. Um, I was in Boston the day of the Women's March. Uh, it was great, and it was women on, the, on the, the subway handing out the pink hats. It was really cool. It was, it was so cool that so I got inspired, did a, a quick sketch. Uh, the news cycle is so quick these days that I sometimes just grab my sketchbook, do a drawing, take a photo with my phone, and just post it on Facebook. And just if if it's a good cartoon, like I'll redraw it or whatever and submit it to my syndicate. Uh, but otherwise, you know, I think it's just important that you know it gets out there. Uh, End of Times magazine honored Donald Trump <laughs> as abomination of the year. I don't know if you knew about that. I want to congratulate Donald Trump, though. He's the 45th president of the United States. So I redesigned his uh, logo for... <laughs> Nobody asked me. I, I did it out of the goodness of my heart. 
Uh, and uh, here, the, the, the White House released the uh, f official family portrait for Trump family. Uh, again, projector. Uh, and one of my fav favorite Trump quotes is Melania Trump. She actually said this. He is not racist or anti-immigrant. He wants to take care of the illegal immigrants so they are not here any longer. <laughs> and they say she can't speak English, come on. <laughs> she was like the first honest Trump. Uh, here she is uh, giving her speech four score and seven years ago. Here she is, uh, you know, proving that immigrants just come to our country and steal our good quotes. Uh, and uh, uh, my parents are Mexican immigrants. My dad was from Zacatecas, uh, and my mom uh, was from Sinaloa. Uh, and they're like the main reason that I do th uh, these cartoons and uh, push back against uh, Trump. Uh, and here's my mom's green card. Uh, it's blue, right? <laughs> it's the first lie they tell you. <laughs> but uh, my mom was undocumented for, uh, uh, for uh, a while, and then she got her papers being a, a nanny uh, for a banker couple, uh, for a Mexican-American couple, actually, uh, in, in, in San Diego. Uh, so that, you know, it pisses me off to hear people say, you know, illegal is illegal is illegal, and none of my family were undocumented. But if you shake your family tree enough, an undocumented person will fall out. Uh, and uh, I get a lot of hate mail, but uh, my favorite hate letter I ever got said, go back to Africa. <laughs> um, <laughs> That's going way back. Yeah, That's way, way taking way immigration back. way back. <laughs> that guy was pissed. <laughs> so, uh, and, yeah, that's right. So uh, I, I honor indigenous people and Geronimo uh, show me your papers, uh, and uh, I, when, uh, this is like one of my most popular cartoons, uh, when I was in El Paso, I found an unattended uh, border patrol truck, so. <laughs> I would never try that this year. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, uh, we salute you for coming out to see our cartoon show. Thank you very much.